the mini mic has made it to Daily Danny, courtesy of Becca. Woo! Always wanted a mini mic. She got me the freaking mini mic with the freaking clip on. Yes, we're making macarons. Uh, 10 years ago, almost to the day, we wanted to make macarons because Bethany Moda did for her 2014 Valentine's Day prep video. So we did and they came out like crap. But we wanted to, we wanted to make a YouTube channel, but we were just like too scared. They I highly doubt they care if you film here. It's not like I don't think so. so who's gonna even say? Who's gonna come down the baking aisle and be like, oh boy, they're they have mini mics. I love my guy, Streets LA, that goes outside and screams outside the Scientology building. This is the baking aisle. The baking aisle. We actually don't need anything here, so this is not for macarons. Little worms. Look, you can make little gummy bears over here. <gasps> Wait, you can make like a little one of those domes. Oh, you could, for Valentine's Day, do you want to make hot chocolate bombs? And then you put sprinkles inside with the hot chocolate milks. I said milks. These always taste like garbage in my opinion, but we need pink. Anything marked red, we're liking. Get the little heart mold. And this way, we never finished with the, our little tour here. These are all the piping tips for your various needs. Ooh. Um, the one we need, they don't have, so we're using a different one. We need 805, and we... They don't have it. It looks so cute on, like, a cake, but we're not making that. And then what, what's this about? Do you know what a salmon is? Isn't that a part of a flower? Isn't that, like, the male part of the flower? <laughs> Who cares? I'm putting it back. All right. This is all for fondant, which... Fondant tastes like crap. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but I think it tastes like crap were that would be the time to add the cream of tartar right yeah okay so we're adding in a pinch of cream of tartar ew that's enough is that enough sure a pinch that's enough cream of tartar is just a texture thing people for the people at home i hope we don't get copyrighted <laughs> you can hear me over ariana but we added in egg whites and cream of tartar and then we're just gonna drown out the music here we're gonna gradually add in granulated sugar and you want to line your baking sheet with either a silicone mat or parchment paper. But we got back from the store. So here we are, macarons and coming. The almond flour, and then we're gonna double sift it. Gonna take the sifted, you're gonna take the flour, no, you're gonna, yes, the almond flour, the cocoa powder, and the powdered sugar and just sift it together. And then here, my camera woman back there, if you can come in. That's like the grit you don't want. That's like stuff that's gonna weigh the cookie down. And this isn't just me BSing, this is from the woman in France, so. You wanna fold this into the batches and you wanna fold, ready? Here we go with the folding motion. You wanna fold, this is not the best bowl to do it, but you wanna fold it. We're not mixing because you want it light and airy. That's the whole part of it. The music, the copywriting is gonna go crazy. So this is what the batter should look like when you're done. Gloppy and delightful and airy. And we're gonna put in a piping bag. See, as you can see, filling a piping bag, I would say is not one of my strong suits. If you can look in the bowl, my director, Becca, God bless, we're having a slight issue. Um, yeah, it's just flinging everywhere. See, this is not how to correctly fill a piping bag, and I would not follow this process. So, um, this is just, I would follow the recipe, just, you know, fill your bag at your own discretion. It's all over, it's sloppy, it's gloppy. Oh, this is not good. I probably just waste about $3. This, the hole is too small, that's what she said, and that just fell. Come on, idiot. This piping tip is, do not use this piping tip. This is way too freaking small. You can just fix that yourself though. <laughs> and then, I feel like this piping bag is gonna freaking explode. <laughs> this is not what you're supposed to be doing. But I don't know if that's obvious or not. I really, I don't know what the problem is, but I just can't use a piping bag. I don't know. <laughs> I only had three cracks. Kinda killed that. We only have three cracks. For nine minutes, and then you wanna put in for nine minutes, rotate so that they bake evenly. Those are kinda sick. Like macarons are honestly one of the hardest things to cook, bake. So the macarons kind of came out absolutely smashing. Um, we kind of killed it. So you have to let them sit for 24 hours. And here's the ganache. It's a little thick. So um, while that rests, we're making the hot chocolate bomb. So like, this is the mint chocolate. We're going to mix it up, melt it. 
put it in the mold, fill it, and with sprinkles, and then we're gonna spray it with a little spray. So we put the chocolate, made way too much because you forget, you know, it's hollow. You put it in there, you press it. Yeah, that looks really good. So we filled it up too much, so they're completely overflowing. And it doesn't say how long it takes for it to harden. So, well, uh, you know. And, but look how sick the paint looks, like, or the spray, look. Oh, like that's kind of sick, $10. And then we'll fill with the sprinkles. Really thick. When I made them the last time, it was like creamier, but like this is, we're just dealing with the elements here. So see, it's like very, but you just match them. You see how we're matching here? You're just gonna match them. And then, honestly, they don't look bad. And you're gonna put them in the refrigerator in an airtight container for 24 hours because I don't know why, but they just tell you to do that. And it really does taste better. So like, it's not like, oh, fresh out of the oven, delicious. They actually taste awful because the chewiness hasn't developed yet. And again, I don't know what I'm really saying, but I'm saying something. So I'm saying something and it's gonna make sense eventually. Stuff, this is completely overstuffed. Okay, great. And they're very fragile. So don't do what I just did. This was the macarons, but since we went to Michael's and got a little crazy, so. Um, <laughs> so, it's, it, so, so it's too much, so it's, um, so it's stuck. Okay, okay. perfect. Oh, okay. ooh, all right. So now how do we take it? Oh, it's stuck, like on the thing. <laughs> so let's see this. This is completely like glue. So this is how to make a chocolate bomb for, you have that sweet someone for Valentine's Day and you want to make them something sweet. This is, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you, I don't even know where's the chocolate bomb is. Is this, is this the chocolate bomb or is that the chocolate bomb? So, you know, you have that sweet someone and you want to do something sweet. I'm confused. Wait, I don't know if we did this right. Oh, it's all over here. Wait, it's broken. Wait, I don't think it's done. Hold on, let me put it back. This is so bad. All right, that's done. I don't think that's part of it. It's not, it's not. Why is it like, also I'm absolutely sweating, so I have anything that could add to my, <laughs> yeah. It's like. Directions look like pretty clear, like. Fill it. Yeah. I don't know what we did wrong. And Fill this was it, like, then put the thing on top, then you pull it out and it's like that, and then you just like mash them together. But like where? <laughs> wow. And wait. <laughs> Chocolate bomb. Snake. Okay, wait, we were, we're gonna try it again. Okay. We put the bombs in. Ready? Down in. Whoa! Ooh, you see the sprinkles coming out. So these were a complete and utter fail. I also added heavy cream instead of milk. And I don't know if, oh wow. Oh wow, wow, that's kind of fun. That's actually fun. I don't know, and then all that hard work is gone in 25 seconds, five seconds. So I don't know if the best is now, but um, Heavy cream is like very, very thick. It's like made for like, you use like half a cup of heavy cream for like an entire batch of macaroni and cheese, like a pound of mac and cheese. So that's, it basically tastes like the thickening of like, you know what, no. Ma oh. And there we go. So, and there you go. Let's just get a little taste test right quick. Here we go. Oh, you see the powder that's not mixed in? Mmm. It's too dark. Yeah! A little vampin'. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh! Okay! And guess what? No one opens!